Hi guys, it's Nancy Trekker back for another adventure. Today I'm taking you on a 45 mile, five day wilderness backpacking adventure through Glacier National Park. Hi guys, it's Nancy Trekker here back for another adventure. Today I'm heading off from Lake Ellen Wilson and going, it's my last day, day five of my trip in Glacier uh, National Park pretty much followed the going to the Sun Road all the way from St. Mary entrance to Lake McDonald and I'm reluctant to say it's my last day but I'm going to Lake McDonald today it's about 10 miles or 15 kilometers but first I want to send you on your own little adventure and hit that subscribe button in the bottom right corner of your screen got it great now let's go Morning at Lake Ellen Wilson felt like waking up in another world. The air was crisp, the lake perfectly still, and the wildlife was still present, reminding me I was a visitor in their home. It's amazing how the animals here coexist with the land. Every creature has its place, and for a moment, you get to witness their lives unfolding. But then the morning took a turn. In the bushes above camp, a grizzly bear and her two cubs appeared. I froze, heart racing. This was the moment I had both hoped for and feared. Yeah, they're big. I don't think they're going to come over here, do you? Uh, I don't think I so. Think they're, they're smelling. I've got my bear spray too. Nice mama and her cubs. They do. Bears are so gorgeous. From a distance. <laughs> Yeah, isn't that a miracle with all this interruptions of their spaces? And... Yeah, right. Okay, baby, yeah. It's one thing to hear about grizzlies and another thing entirely to see them in person. They are powerful, magnificent, huge creatures. But what amazed me most was what I saw next. The mother bear, sensing my presence, seemed to be teaching her cubs. She kept her distance, guiding them away from me as if to say, this is how you avoid humans. It was a lesson in respect, both for them and for me. Watching this mama bear school her cubs was amazing. It was as if she was saying to them, no Junior, humans are dangerous, don't go down there, and hurry up and follow me. I watched as they disappeared into the trees, leaving me in awe. They were just passing through, but for those few moments, I felt like I was witnessing something ancient and deeply natural. As I packed up to leave, I couldn't stop thinking about the bears. Glacier is their home, and I was lucky to witness their world for just a brief moment. The wilderness is full of life, and even after we leave, it continues wild, free, and untamed. After that incredible encounter, it was time to pack up and continue the journey. My next goal was crossing Lincoln Pass and making my way to Sperry Chalet. The hike to Lincoln Pass was a steady climb, but the views were incredible. As I reached the top, the reward on the other side was waiting, Sperry Chalet, freshly rebuilt after the 2017 Sprague Fire. Oh, there's a lake right over there. Do you see it? 
it might be Sperry Lake. What a beautiful view. Hiding in the trees. So that right there is Lake McDonald. That's Lake McDonald. That's where I'm headed. I didn't think I'd be so close, but I know I have a long ways to go. Here is the Sperry Chalet right there. Can you see it? Oops. So I was told by the park officers when I booked my trip here, there's a scramble and you can overlook both Lake Ellen Wilson and Jackson Lake from, I think this is the scramble, but being alone, I can't leave my pack. So I'm not gonna do it, um, but that's an option. Another option I could take is to hike the Sperry Glacier, uh, but that's even more elevation. Reaching Sperry Chalet felt like stepping into a place of history. After being destroyed by wildfire, it was rebuilt stronger and it was the perfect place to rest after the hike. Mm, amazing views if you stay at this hotel. Here the rooms are $900 a night right now. Hi! <laughs> You're on YouTube! Very have a cherry, a blueberry, and a peach. Ooh, I'll have the peach pie, please. And there's nothing like savoring a fresh slice of peach pie in the middle of Glacier National Park. It was a sweet end to an unforgettable adventure. That was pretty cool, uh, Sperry Cabin. Um, so the hotel has garbage service by mule and they uh, pack and unpack Thursdays and Sundays uh, and um, any, any trash and dirty linens go down with the mules and all supplies come up with the mules every Thursday and Sunday to Sperry Chalet. They do not accept hiker garbage. Even this garbage from the deer at Ellen Wilson. And that's okay, I don't mind. Those mules work extra hard. So I will do my part. <laughs> um, so I'm, it's only uh, 10K or so to the lodge here. Um, so it should be a, nice and easy downhill hike from here on in but it sure felt good to say i'll have a lemonade please on a hike like this on a five-day hike like this
The descent from Sperry Chalet was steep, dropping nearly 3,300 feet back to Lake McDonald, where this journey began five days prior. Every step felt like a closing chapter to this wild adventure. Thanks for joining me on this leg of the journey. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed all of Glacier National Park series. This is the end of my filming. Unless I see a bear, I will stop filming now to conserve my battery, which is down to 5% again. Um, but this is the junction to Fish Lake. And so that is filmed on a different um, episode. And I'll put the link to that up there. Uh, and otherwise, um, I'll say goodbye for now. Until next time, happy trekking. Reaching my Jeep at Lake McDonald felt like coming full circle. This hike of a lifetime had been everything I could have hoped for and more. Wild, beautiful, and full of encounters that will stay with me forever.